friends, welcome to my channel and welcome to yet another video on UGC NET Paper 1. On popular demand, I'm back again with a video on teaching aptitude. This is not just a regular video, it's a crash course wherein we will cover all important topics that you must study to ace Unit 1 teaching aptitude for UGC NET Paper 1. My aim behind making this video is to tell all my viewers which topics you should study and which topics you should skip when preparing for UGC NET exam. In less than 15 minutes, I'm going to take you through all the important sections of uh, this unit one by one. This video will act as a blueprint and lay a very strong solid foundation which will in turn help you to cover this unit very very quickly. If you are new to this channel then please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that every Sunday as soon as I upload a new video, you are the first one to know about it. We are proud to share that we are India's largest YouTube channel right now in the field of UGC NET exam preparation. So without any further ado, let's start with topic number one. The first topic that you need to look into when you are looking at teaching aptitude is the nature of teaching. Teaching as you know is a professional activity. Number two, it's an interactive process which happens between a teacher and a student. Third, it's a science as well as art. Every good teacher follows some rules. But at the same time, teaching is a very individualistic process. For example, if you look at my videos and compare it to other YouTube videos, you will notice a difference between my teaching pattern and the pattern of other teachers. This is because teaching is an art. It varies from teacher to teacher. Every individual has their own style of teaching. You can't instruct a painter as to how to paint. He will do it in his own style. Teaching is also as known as a dynamic process. Now, it keeps on evolving. It's never static. So when you begin reading teaching aptitude, make sure you look at the nature of teaching. Now let's move on to the second topic. The second topic about which we are going to talk about is objective of teaching. Objective means aim. For example, I have an aim to make this video. You have an aim to study. Similarly, every teacher has an aim too. Now, if you're looking at teaching, you'll see that the first objective of teaching is to impart knowledge. A teacher wants to impart knowledge to a student. For example, I'm an English literature teacher. So, I teach my students and I prepare them for UGC Net English. My object here is to impart knowledge about English literature, help these students qualify the exam. Similarly, students studying and preparing for this exam also have an objective. That is to clear the exam. And let's say, get good jobs. Second objective of teaching is to develop skills in a student. You see that you have developed certain skills after passing out from the school. That's because of the process of teaching. And the third objective and the most important objective of the teacher is to bring social, behavioral and desirable changes in the students. School mein keval subjects nahi padhai jate, balki students ka overall development kiya jata hai. They are taught how to behave with peer, how to uh, dis be disciplined, how to work in team. All these are social and behavioral changes that a teacher tries to bring in the student. Before we move on to point number three, if you have any other questions or doubts about UGC NET Paper 1 or Paper 2, then feel free to reach out to us on WhatsApp. Then WhatsApp number is flashed right on the screen. You can shoot a WhatsApp message on the same number to regularly get important exam notification and updates related to syllabus change and much more. And if you are searching for free study material on various topics related to UGC NET Paper 1 or UGC NET Paper 2 English Literature, then feel free to ping us on WhatsApp and me and my team will be more than happy to assist you. Okay, so moving on. The third topic that you need to study in teaching aptitude is Factors affecting learners. Factors such as personal background, upbringing, their prior experience, all these factors affect every student. For example, if a child from a rural area or rural background is studying modern Western philosophy, it will be very difficult or different for him to understand this concept because of the difference in the background and conditioning. Samaj nahi aya? Chalo, let me give another example. Ye to I'm sure aap mein se kaafi logo ke saath hua hoga. A student will not enjoy a math class if he doesn't have interest in the subject maths. Even if the teacher is brilliant, he will not be able to pay his utmost attention. Why this happens? Because his personal interest and other individual factors play a crucial role in the process of learning. Similarly, if my 
cool doesn't have air conditioner and it's a hot summer month even if my favorite subjects class is going on will i be able to pay attention and learn when the environment around me is super hot i won't be able to grasp anything but at the same time if i'm sitting in a air conditioned classroom and studying the same thing my learning will be way better conclusion of this topic is that a lot of factors including environment and society affects how we learn and grasp things the fourth topic that you need to study in the unit teaching aptitude is characteristics of a good teacher a student should be curious to learn more and to understand unknown stuff this is a basic characteristic of any learner second characteristic is that he should ask questions the student who understand a subject becomes curious to know more and ask questions out of curiosity this is a characteristic of good learner that he is intrigued and ask questions since it's a crash course i'm quickly brushing upon the important areas but we cover all these topics in detail in our online video course if you are preparing for ugc net paper 1 or paper 2 then we have an amazing news for you we offer four separate video courses for ugc net paper 1 paper 2 english paper 2 commerce and paper 2 management in all our online courses we provide you with topic wise video lessons with rich animations covering all important topics in a step by step manner which works even when you have not done any previous preparation we also provide you with high quality pdf and revision notes that covers syllabus wise topics comprehensively and ensure that you qualify your dream exam in just one attempt along with video lectures and pdfs we also offer test series that consist of more than 3000 unit wise questions that comes with detailed explanation plus after every test you get a detailed performance report and your ranking in the all india leaderboard which will help you spot your weak and strong areas we cover all important topics works in our online course the detailed list of all the topics that are covered in our online course is available free of cost on our website arpitakarwa.com even if you are preparing for these exams on your own we would highly recommend you to visit our website and download this detailed list of writers topics and check out solved past year papers of all these competitive exams the link of our website and all our courses are given in the description box below you can check out the course details from our website and even watch a free demo lecture and attempt free demo mock test before you decide to enroll in our course for more information related to the courses we offer feel free to shoot your queries on whatsapp number displayed on the screen and me and my team will be more than happy to assist you hmm so after looking at the characteristics of learner it's time to look at the characteristics of teacher knowledge is the first characteristic of any teacher as a teacher it is very important to have knowledge of the subject in order to deliver it to the students similarly qualification is another important thing and this is why the government conducts this ugc net exam in order to see the knowledge once that is proved they give you ugc net certificate which certifies that you are qualified enough to be a, a professor next is communication only having knowledge about the subject won't help sabhi ke paas hoti hai you also must have good communication skills so that you can communicate your knowledge to the student experience is also one of the most important characteristics of a teacher a teacher who doesn't have much experience isn't a mature teacher no one can become a good teacher overnight it is always with time that you learn the process of teaching and that is how you become an experienced teacher our next topic is the method of teaching every teacher before starting to teach needs to decide which method is best suited for his or her learners there was one time when teachers used to deliver a lecture and students used to passively listen to the lecture but now the education system has evolved your students learns best when there's a discussion going on between his peers and that is how he develops new understanding this is how he develops new insight and that is how a learner is motivated to learn more now we have learner centric classrooms where through demonstration debates group discussion students learn teaching these days have become very very engaging the next topic that we have is teaching aids teaching aids are resources which a teacher can use in order to make learning more effective more interesting and to help learners or students retain better 
we have visual aids like charts and graphs then there are interactive aids which use computer technology like video conferencing satellite classrooms then we have other teaching aids like blackboard audio visual aids so all these things together will help the learner to retain better to understand more to understand in such a manner that there's a mix of entertainment and education if i want to teach my students something related to science i would show them a science fiction movie they'll be more interested to learn about that concept and this is how teaching aids help the teacher to create fun and entertainment in the classroom at the same time reinforcing learning इसीलिए तो मैं भी अपने वीडियोस में बहुत ग्राफिक्स यूज करती हूँ मीन्स यूज करती हूँ सो दैट द लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंस दैट आई गिव टू माय यूट्यूब सब्सक्राइबर्स इज मोर एनरिचिंग मोर इंगेजिंग कमेंट बिलो व्हिच इज योर फेवरेट टीचिंग एड दैट योर टीचर यूज्ड इन द चाइल्डहुड द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट यू मस्ट स्टडी इज इवेल्युएशन मेथड्स देर आर अ लॉट ऑफ वेज इन विच अ टीचर इवेल्युएट्स अ स्टूडेंट we have summative assignments formative assessment norm referred test then we have cge that is continuous and comprehensive evaluation so if you look at formative assessments it happens through regular weekly test by which you are judging a student's learning regularly then we have summative assessments similar to final exams that happens towards the end of the semester or towards the end of the year when you assess the learning of the entire year then we have norm referred test norm refer test kya hai norm refer test is used when you judge an individual relative to the group for example class ranks let's take an example of rank 1 that means this person when compared to all the other students in the class stands on the first position so this is norm refer testing and finally we have cce which is continuous and comprehensive evaluation in which a teacher judges not just the cognitive parts but the non cognitive aspect of students brain as well not every student is good in studies we all know that some are average in studies but are brilliant when it comes to extra curricular activities for example sports so all these things are also judged along with the academic score in case of cce so friends these were the evaluation methods that you must have strong grip on The next topic that you should learn in your UGC NET paper 1 prep journey is about Bloom's taxonomy. Bloom was a scientist and he found a new way to understand how students learn. If you have ever played a video game, I'm pretty sure that you will understand what Bloom was trying to say. Basically, Bloom said that there are different levels of learning and only when you master one level, you move to another level. Just like video games have levels Bloom has mentioned the levels of cognitive learning. The six levels are remembering, understanding, applying, analyzing, evaluating and creating. So if you want to ace UGC NET exam, make sure that you read about all the six levels of learning. By the way, abhi tak ka video kaisa laga? I'm quite eager to know. How you felt about this video? Batao na comments mein. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Did you find it helpful? Please share your views in the comments below. Also if you are having any questions any doubts or if you want me to make a video on any other topic then feel free to put that in the comment section as well last but not the least we are going to talk about domains of learning when a student goes to the school he doesn't only gain knowledge but also other aspects and that are classified in the domains of learning so we have got three major domains the first one is cognitive which talks about knowledge anything which is related to the brain is called cognitive Next we have affective domain talks about the attitude of a student during the school days the students get to understand his emotions better is able to deal with his peers is able to manage his emotional imbalances and learn several abstract qualities like sharing giving to others and finally we have psychomotor domain psychomotor domain talks about the skills related to your movement coordination so whenever you play a sport and you want to have that hand eye coordination that's the part of the psychomotor domain if a student learns well in all the three domains then only he is classified as a good learner 
So these were 10 important topics that you must cover in detail if you are preparing for UGC NET paper 1. If you found this video helpful then please like this video by giving it a big fan thumbs up and also share it with other fellow aspirants who are struggling with similar kind of questions. So with that note I would like to take your leave. That's it from my side for this video lecture. I'll meet you very very soon in the next video lecture. Till the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpatakarva.com.